Thank you for having me. Mental health conditions are incredibly prevalent, and approximately one in five Americans will be diagnosed with a mental health condition in a one-year period. Some of the most common mental health conditions include mood disorders, which have a 12-month prevalence estimate of around 10%, anxiety disorders with a 12-month uh, prevalence estimate of around 18%, and insomnia with prevalence rates as high as 22%. The consequences of having mental health conditions can be incredibly dire and can significantly impact a person's uh, quality of life and functioning. Therefore, it really is of utmost importance that mental health conditions are properly treated. To date, the mental health care landscape has been largely dominated by pharmaceuticals. And really the reason for this is the fundamental qualities of pharmaceuticals themselves. Drugs are really appealing because drugs are scalable, affordable, consistent and standardized, and have a strong evidence base. With one important disclaimer, side effects. In the last several decades, there really has been no other healthcare um, uh, option that has exhibited these same uh, appealing qualities. That is, until digital medicine. The goal of digital medicine is to transform evidence-based behavioral treatments, things like cognitive behavioral therapy, into digital platforms that can reach and benefit millions of individuals. Research shows that behavioral treatments are just as effective as pharmaceuticals at treating the symptoms associated with mental uh, illness. However, some of the problems with these behavioral interventions is that, you know, first of all, they're not always easily accessible. Not everybody has access to providers that are skilled in this kind of care. And second of all, they're not always affordable, as health insurance doesn't always cover this type of treatment. And so that's really where digital medicine comes in. And digital medicine is the first true alternative to pharmaceuticals, because just like pharmaceuticals, digital medicine is scalable, it's affordable, it's consistent, and it has a strong evidence base, with the added bonus of not coming with any of those pesky side effects. Our mission at Big Health, the mission that really drives all of our work, is bringing millions of individuals back to good mental health through digital medicine. Partnered in this mission are the different systems and companies that you're seeing on this page. So we distribute our programs throughout the United States and the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, we distribute through the National Health Service and have covered 10 million lives. In the United States, since we don't have nas uh, national health care here, we found that the best way to reach a large amount of individuals is to actually go through large self-insured companies who are motivated to, to cover their employees. And through this process, we have covered 2 million lives. Our first product at Big Health was a product called Sleepio, which is a fully automated yet highly personalized program for insomnia that is accessible via application in the web. The structure of Sleepio looks very similar to the structure of traditional in-person CBTI in that it is personalized using sleep diary and self-report measures, and the user has weekly sessions with their sleep coach, a gentleman named the prof, who is very entertaining, very knowledgeable. Um, and during these sessions, the prof will actually teach the Sleepio users evidence-based tools that the user is then expected to implement in between treatment sessions. Some additional benefits of Sleepio is that the user then has access to these tools via the user dashboard. Uh, via the dashboard, the user also has access to a library of information about sleep and can also access the prof in between sessions. The user also has the opportunity to you know, problem solve, talk about barriers, questions, comments, and concerns with other members of the Sleepio community. And they also have access to sleep experts via the live chat feature. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to the prof. Hello there, Jen. I am the prof, and I'm here to do everything I can to help you sleep better. Now, you may be thinking, why should I trust you to tell me what to do? Well, everything we do here at Sleepio is rooted firmly in scientific evidence. Thanks, Prof. You're absolutely right. 
Everything we do in Sleepio is firmly rooted in scientific evidence. That's very important to us because the fact of the matter is, you know, despite how entertaining Sleepio is, and it very much is designed to be an entertaining program, and despite how charming the prof is, he actually has a narcoleptic dog, Pavlov, who helps him. Very cute. Um, but despite all this, if Sleepio doesn't work, then it's useless. And so let's talk a little bit about the evidence. The benefits of Sleepio have been established with eight published randomized controlled trials and in over 12,000 participants across all of our various studies. And as an interesting side note, this is actually four times as many participants that have been used to study the efficacy of Ambien. The benefits and evidence base of uh, Sleepio is so compelling that the American College of Physicians actually recommends Sleepio as the first line of treatment for insomnia. In our very first RCT, um, we found that following Sleepio use, 76% of Sleepio users achieved healthy sleep. And this improvement rate is actually comparable to what we see in in-person CBTI sessions. And importantly, this improvement rate was also significantly greater than treatment as usual and was greater than a um, digital-based placebo control condition. In another uh, RCT, I believe the RCT, or the largest RCT to ever examine a psychological intervention, our results from this RCT demonstrated that compared to treatment as usual, Sleepio resulted in significantly greater improvements in sleep. Uh, and this was a sample of um, uh, college students in the UK. Um, and these treatment improvements were maintained at a three-month follow-up assessment. In the same study, researchers found that not only did Sleepio improve sleep, but Sleepio was also associated with significantly re uh, greater reductions in paranoia, hallucinations, depression, and anxiety symptoms. Another RCT I want to highlight is an RCT that was done in collaboration with the Henry Ford Center in Michigan. And this was an RCT that aimed to examine the efficacy of Sleepio across a wide range of demographic groups. What this RCT demonstrated was that compared to an online sleep education course, um, Sleepio resulted in significantly greater reductions in insomnia symptoms and also resulted in significantly greater reduction in depressive symptoms. And interestingly, the effect size for the reduction in depressive symptoms is actually a little bit larger than the effect size that we see for some common antidepressants. And then the final RCT that I want to briefly highlight, this was one conducted by Colin Espy, who's one of the co-founders of Sleepio. And what they wanted to look at is whether or not Sleepio was also efficacious for improving daytime dysfunction that you commonly see in insomnia. And so again, compared to an online sleep education course, results demonstrated that Sleepio um, improved uh, overall health, psychological well-being, and quality of life related to sleep disturbance. So taken together, these really compelling results demonstrate that not only is Sleepio effective for improving insomnia, um, but Sleepio is also effective for improving daytime impairment, typically associated with insomnia, um, and might be a really nice avenue for improving quality of life and functioning across a wide range of individuals. At Big Health, continuing to conduct research is really important to us. And so what you're seeing on this page are our uh, research objectives. First of all, we're um, you know, very excited to continue to pursue our own line of clinical research in order to answer questions that will advance the field. And then we're also very passionate about collaborating with external investigators. And really, a lot of the most um, you know, significant and high impact results have come from these external collaborations. What you're seeing on this page is a demonstration of how excited we are about research. This is just a sub-selection of the ongoing research projects that we have going on at Big Health. Um, to give you a little bit of flavor about what some of these projects are, um, for example, we're currently looking at whether or not Sleepio improves cognitive functioning. Uh, we're also interested in examining the efficacy of Sleepio across various medical and mental health conditions, for example, uh, PTSD, postpartum depression, HIV, and sleep apnea. 
because our insomnia program was so, you know, so popular and so effective, we're really excited to branch out into other domains. And so we have our anxiety program launching later this year, and then we have a depression program launching in 2020. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>